welcome if you're new. I just wanted to pop in right quick, um, show my face, say hi. Um, if you are new here, my name is Camille. This channel is Colorful Camille, so you can call me KK for short. And I love makeup, beauty, fashion, all of that good stuff. So today's video is one where I'm actually just kind of going through the smaller palettes in my collection. Um, I already kind of explained everything once I started showing the palettes, so I won't be too lengthy here. I just wanted to check in, say hi. Also mention that a large portion of my small palettes are ColourPop palettes, so I'm actually not showing those palettes in this video. So if you're here to see ColourPop palettes, you won't see any because I have so many small ColourPop palettes that that's like a video all on its own <laughs> and I didn't want to take up so much of this video with that. So yeah, I have a lot of large ColourPop palettes, medium size, small ones, super shock shadows, all of that good stuff and I love them. So maybe in the future I'll just do a video with my ColourPop shadows but not in this one. So ColourPop. Juvia's Place and some Pat McGrath are not in this video. Everything else is though from my collection and I have quite a few, way more than I thought I did, you guys. I have a lot of small palettes and I really, really not need to start focusing on them. So anyway, I just wanted to say hi. Thank you so much for checking out my video and let's jump right in. So today I'm going to go through all of my smaller eyeshadow palettes. And kind of what I decided my definition of smaller eyeshadow palette was like if it had anywhere from like nine to 10 shadows or less. 10 is even a lot, but the reason why I took it to 10 is because like these smaller Violet Voss palettes, I definitely consider them small palettes, but as you look inside, you see they have 10 shadows in there. So it was kind of tricky with making that decision. Typically it's like nine or less, but there are a few that have like 10. So I, the cutoff was really like 12. If it had 12 shadows, I didn't include it. I don't care how small the packaging was. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to pick them up, show them. They're somewhat in order by brand. Um, but yeah, I really want to run through this video without having to edit it. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> okay, so I'll just start with the ones right here in front. This one is from Menagerie Cosmetics. This is the Paws palette. It is so cute. I love the packaging. But this is the color story in here. So, so pretty. Gorgeous. Next, I have some palettes from It's Bell Cosmetics. This one is their Break the Rules palette. This is the first palette that I purchased from them all shimmer beautiful beautiful colors as you can see there next i have here dawn of fall another pretty color story and it has more fall tone shimmers in there so pretty and then i have this fruity realm very cute they actually sent this to me i had a lot of fun playing with this very colorful all matte palette this is the Safari palette from Clarity Cosmetics. Oh, I had a lot of fun playing with this color story as well. Look at those shimmers. Very, very pretty, unique color story. I have this palette here. This is Chase Your Dreams. This one is from Sydney Grace. And this is actually a more recent palette to my collection. It's an older palette of theirs, but it's pretty new to my collection, so. Very, very pretty. Now I do have these smaller palettes here from Beauty Bay. They have smaller versions of their large palettes. This one is the Berries. This one is gorgeous. Look at those shimmers. This one, one of my favorites, the Midnight. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. This one here is the Bright Matte. So as it say, states, Bright Mattes. This is the Earthy, another one of my favorite color stories, the beautiful greens. I love how they put these together. This one here is the Nude Matte, all matte shades, nude palette, but you can get a nice deep smoky look as well. 
this one here is the fiery mattes so matte shades with a little you know red color story going on in there okay so let's move on now to some of my smaller morphe palettes these are really pretty as well this is the smoke and shadow 9w smoke and shadow and so that is the color story there really pretty next i have here neutral territory so very very neutral couple of shimmers in there perfect for travel and everyday use this one here khaki calling oh i haven't used this yet but i can't wait to use it because i fell in love with this color story i love green eyeshadow as well as blues and purples <laughs> This one here, Just Say Zen, super cute name. And look at this, this is another one of my favorite color stories from these little palettes. So, so pretty, it's just very zen, as the name <laughs> indicates. This one here, Pretty in Peach. I love a peach color story as well. Super pretty, and it has some nice deepening shades in there as well. And then lastly, I have this 9P Petal Passion. So this is another kind of peachy tone, but it's more rosy. It has rosiness to it as well. So very, very pretty there. Next, let's go ahead and go through these Violet Voss palettes since I already mentioned them. This one is the Sparkling Cherry Limeade. So cute, like this packaging. I've had this for a long time. Thought about decluttering it several times, but it's just so cute that I can't get rid of it. This one here is the El Macaron. Le Macaron, my bad. Le Macaron. <laughs> the Macaron. Really pretty. Some deeper, a little bit darker shimmers. Not so super duper bright, but really pretty. Another palette I thought about decluttering and couldn't do it. And then lastly, I have this uh, Sweet Violet. So pretty. You guys know I love purples. This one is gorgeous. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run through. These are like some miscellaneous palettes, like various brands that I have. This one I just bought. If you saw my drugstore um, makeup look, this is one of the palettes that I used that I got from CVS, which was ridiculously expensive. I think I paid like $17.99 or something for this palette from the cream shop. I thought about taking it back, but I decided to keep it. <laughs> but this is the Galactic 9 shade palette. So that's what this looks like. It is very pretty. The shimmers are just super duper light, very, very faint. So this is for someone who doesn't like a lot of wham bam pow on their eyes. And that's not really me. I love Wham Bam Pal. <laughs> this is the Milani. Um, this was one that they came out with around, um, gosh, Halloween. Was it like two years ago? I don't know. But this is a beautiful Nightmare palette. Never used it, but still want to keep it. Very interesting color story. You can definitely do some dramatic looks with this, but it's cute. This one here is the Indica palette by Flaunt Beauty. This was actually a gift from one of my friends, DJ, from DJ's Unique Boutique. She um, actually gave me this for my birthday a few years ago, and I just love this color story. It's so gorgeous. This one here I bought from, oh gosh, I can't think of the, the website. Is it the Beauty Bay website? I don't know. But anyways, this is the Azure Allure palette. Really cute. And this color story, it basically has all of my favorite shades in one palette. <laughs> so it's very, very pretty, deep, dark, seductive, gorgeous. This one here is the Pastels, and this is from Beauty Bay as well. I haven't used this yet. After I purchased it, I was kind of like, mm, not really pressed to use it because so many people said that it was so faint and the pigment was pretty bad, so... I did, I've never gotten a chance to use it yet, but maybe, you know what, maybe I'll keep this out since it is that time of year and just try it and see how it works for me. So yeah, I might just go ahead and keep this one out. 
This one here is the Vibes palette from Ruby May. And another very pretty color story. This one is on the lighter side, a lot of pinky purpleness going on, pop of blue and gold, but really, really cute. And this one is uh, by Oba, <laughs> the I Am palette. So if you can see that, it says I Am at the top and it's by Oba. And this is the color story in here. Very, very pretty. It kind of reminds me of maybe like a Juvia's Place color story. Very, very pretty. Oh gosh, and that reminds me, I did not pull my Juvia's Place palettes either, you guys. So honey, ain't gonna be no Juvia's Place in here either because that's a whole nother video on its own. So no Juvia's Place, no color pop. This is just all of my other <laughs> small palettes. Okay, so this is from Colored Rain. I have a nice little stack from Colored Rain. This is the Neutral Chic. And so, ooh, look at them shimmers. Get out of town, get out of town. And I really need to remember which are my beautiful neutral palettes. You know, when I get in that mood to do an everyday neutral look, I have a lot of beautiful neutral palettes. This one is Smoke Show from Colored Rain. And I believe I got this in one of their like mystery boxes or one of my subscription boxes or something a while back ago. Really, really pretty palette. Um, this is the only semi shimmer in there is this dark shade here. So yeah, very interesting color story there. This, one of my favorite palettes from Colored Rain, if not my absolute favorite palette from Colored Rain, this is the Queen Bee. Look at that packaging, you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but you see the bee's wings moving. Very, very tight. <laughs> and this is the palette. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I could sit here and stay at this all day. So let's move it along. This one here, Rose Garden. I bought a lot of these smaller palettes when they had their holiday sales and stuff because they were really pretty. And I'm like, oh, I want those in my collection. So this one here looks like this. Very, very cute. This one is the Botanical. And some of these were like part of a little, you know, collection or whatever that came together. So this is what that one looks like. I feel like these two palettes, this one and the Rose Garden, they're very similar. Nice companion palettes, you know, ones that you can kind of sit down and use together. This one is the Secret Garden palette. So that's what that packaging looks like. And look how pretty those colors look together. That is gorgeous. This color story, oh, so, so pretty. I love it. See, I'm looking at these palettes and it's making me want to use them. Making me want to use them. So I'm definitely going to keep a few of these out. This is the Sunset Palette. Sunset Chic, my bad. Sunset Chic. Oh, and it looks just like a sunset. Absolutely gorgeous. Next, I have Wealthy Chic. <laughs> So you can guess what this one is going to look like. Yes, honey. If you like those greens, this will do it. Look at those shimmers. Oh, this color in the middle. I could do a one shadow look with just that color and be very, very happy. Okay. This one is pretty chic. And this one actually got damaged in the mail. So <sighs> let's just pray when we open it that it hasn't fallen apart again. <laughs> because oh thank god but you can kind of see how i got you know all that purple the purple is the one that really got banged up and it was all over the palette so it got in my white shimmer you know and i really had to work to clean it up and repress it but it's a gorgeous palette that's why i didn't want to you know just get rid of it i'm pretty sure that i emailed them and let them know that it came damaged honey and i ain't heard back from them so that's nice <laughs> And then this Thunder palette. Oh, this palette is gorgeous too. Look at the, um, let me see if I can show you this. You see the lightning? That is so tight. Ah, so pretty. And look at this color story. Listen, you like cool tones, nice deep dark shades, grays, purples, blues. This is beautiful. I need to use this. Have I used this? No, I need to use this. This palette is is going on the I need to use list, okay? So let's run through these small Huda Beauty palettes. 
this one here I have not used yet, Ugh, but it's beautiful. I'm dying to. I really, really need to because it's gorgeous. And this is what she looks like. Look at how pretty. Definitely a fall palette for me. So this will come out to play during the fall. It's beautiful. Next, I have here this uh, Wild Jaguar palette. Wild Jaguar. Sorry about the glare, you guys, but I need the light so that you guys can see what the palette truly looks like. Oh, this one's gorgeous as well. Definitely a fall winter palette for me. She's beautiful. This one is the Nude Rich. This one, oh, love the eye looks with this, that beautiful burgundy, but it kind of gives off like a purpley burgundy tone on your eyes. So beautiful. Next, I have here the Wild Chameleon. I don't think I've used this one either. Let's take a look. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, no, uh-uh. She's pretty though, very, very pretty. This pop down here will set the look off, I think, and this gold too, very pretty. And then lastly, I have the Wild Python. I love having these palettes in my collection. The packaging is so cute and the color stories are too. So this is beautiful as well. Another beautiful green palette, but it has those neutrals in there so you can kind of mix it up. Okay, moving along. So I have a few, um, Too Faced. <laughs> Too Faced, let's go ahead and run through some Too Faced. This is a cute little That's My Jam palette from Too Faced. So cute. Look at these shadows so pretty so so pretty next i have here light my fire and this one i know i haven't used yet very pretty definitely wanted to have this in my collection i'm sure i bought it on sale very very pretty this one i'm sure i got on sale as well let's play and this one has the lighter pinky tones rosy tones Really pretty, nice everyday pinky eye tone, pinky tone eye looks with that. This one here is the, what is it called? Razzle Dazzle Berry. <laughs> Razzle Dazzle Berry eyeshadow. Does it still smell good? Still smells like Razzle Dazzle Berry. <laughs> this is what this one looks like. And then I also have this one, which is the Sparkling Pineapple, okay? gorgeous i don't remember this one yeah it has a smell to it but i wouldn't say it smells like pineapple it's just i don't know has some kind of smell to it but that's what that one looks like pretty as well okay next i have la girl i have some little norvenas right here let's go ahead and take a look at these norvenas this this is the mini pro pigment palette volume three so when she came out with her pro pigment palettes she also came out with some little minis afterwards and these came in a set my girl Lily gave all uh, me a set with all three of these in there so this one looks like this very very fun color story fun to play with you know it's different you could do a lot of one color eye looks with this if you're not into mixing up all kind of colors, but very unique, <laughs> unique color story in there. This one is the volume one. So that's what this one looks like. A little bit easier to create an eye look with this because the colors, you know, are more kind of uniform, monochromatic, pinky purples. And then lastly, this one is volume two. So I just mix that all up. <laughs> And this is really pretty. I love, love, love this color story. I love this palette as well, the larger one. It just kind of gives me those like Scooby-Doo vibes. <laughs> so, so cute, so cute. So here are my small LA Girl palettes. This one is Keep It Playful, Downplay. So this one's called Downplay. I used the heck out of these for a while because it's like, these are those kind of palettes that you just throw in your vanity and you have them close by. No matter what other palettes that you have that you're using or playing with, color and stuff, 
these palettes you know when you want to just do those quick little neutral eye looks smoky eye looks and you don't want to have to think about which palette to use these worked perfectly for me so i always kept these close in my vanity until you know i started trying out other neutral palettes this one here is the foreplay so they're all under the keep it playful but this one is just called foreplay <laughs> really so very warm beautiful earthy shades and then this last one here is playmate so this one's really pretty i don't think i use this one though so this one has a little bit of a combination it's a little bit different than that last one very pretty though and then they have another one i think that has kind of like a mauvey vibe to it you know so yeah let's run through these right quick <laughs> so these palettes are from uma beauty and these were part of the coming to america um collection super cute packaging i like them because they have that lion on the front and i am a leo so whenever i see a lion or a lioness it just kind of makes me feel a certain way so this one is called good morning zamunda good morning zamunda really pretty colorful playful palette this one here is called queen to, <laughs> queen to be <laughs> Look at that, really, really pretty. I don't know how they pick the colors that they put in these palettes because they're a little bit random to me. Like this one, I don't know, it's just, it's random. But they're still pretty nonetheless. This one here is my small, small little um, Dose of Colors palette. It is, look at that writing. But it's I Love Sarai, I believe, eyeshadow palette. And it is really cute packaging. Mine actually came defective because I got two of the black shades in here instead of the kind of tan neutral shade, which is not a big deal because I actually really like this <laughs> black glittery shade. But yeah, mine is defective. One of these shades is supposed to be like a really light tan neutral shade, I believe. So that's that. Then I have here my MAC Cosmetics and Marvel Studios Black Panther palette. I haven't used this yet not sure if i'm going to because it is kind of like a collector's piece for me but you know who knows so this is what this palette looks like really pretty huh really really pretty yeah it's gorgeous so let me just put my little name plastic back on there and put that safely back in his carton. <laughs> now I have a couple of NARS palettes. It's funny, I never reach for my NARS palettes. This, I just don't. But this one is really pretty. This one is Inferno. Gorgeous. And this one, a couple of them have popped out. I had to glue them back into the palette, but thankfully they weren't damaged. But this one is really pretty. This one is Extreme Effects. So that's what that one looks like. And let me, in these palettes, they're so freaking hard to open. I'm always worried about breaking a nail <laughs> when I open these palettes. This one I really like. I really like the purpley mauve pool and that beautiful burnt orange in there. Really, really like that. This one is from MAC as well. This one is the Feast Your Eyes packaging really really pretty i mean this palette is gorgeous like when you look at it you're like oh my gosh those shimmers are beautiful look at that it's gorgeous but it wasn't as impressive on the eyes as i thought it would be <laughs> i really expected more from this palette and these shimmers i don't know why because i don't know i guess with it being mac but i don't really use mac so i wasn't that impressed with these shadows but it is a very very pretty palette and then I have here this Artist Couture. This is, yeah, it looks like Midnight Maven from Artist Couture. Very, very pretty. This palette is gorgeous, creates a beautiful eye look. Love it. Okay, you guys, so I have some Playing and Makeup by Yolando small palettes, beautiful color stories. I have some other random <laughs> miscellaneous brands here. So let's just run through these. Uh, playing and makeup by Yolando palettes. This is the one that I used recently. 
which is called Expression. I used this recently on one of my latest videos, just creating a beautiful spring eye look. Look at that. Ah, oh, gorgeous. This one is Mixture. So a lot of them have similar color stories, but she just kind of changed out a few of the shades just to truly make it a different palette. This one here is Upward. So as you can see here, that's what Upward looks like. This one, oh, this one is so pretty. I wanna use this soon. This one is awesome. Look how pretty awesome is. Awesome is very awesome, child. Next, this one is very colorful. <laughs> it's called Basic. <laughs> Basic, okay, with these super bright, pretty colors in here. Very interesting. This one is very pretty as well. This one is called, is it Manda? Manda. It's a really pretty pink and burgundy and orange and black. And these are fun because you can kind of sit down and mix and match and combine different ones. This one is called Yo-Yo. Really pretty pinky purple. This one I really like as well. This one is called Unexpected. <laughs> it has like that gray tone to it but it looks like the eye look will kind of pull a little bit purple you know looking at this shade here so very very pretty oh i got black shadow on my fingers somehow i'm pretty sure they're gonna be all kind of colors by the time i'm done i gotta try on this fan you guys i am literally on fire <laughs> this one is royalty so really, really pretty purple shades. This one, oh, this is another one that I absolutely love called Exchange. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Really, really fun. Neutral everyday shades with that beautiful shimmer. You can really turn an eye look up with that. Smoke it out for a date night. This one is Capture. That one's pretty as well. Nice, light, airy, warm tones. And I'm hoping that she still has these on her website just in case you wanna buy some. She had a really good sale on these um, not too long ago. This one is called Faith. So if she is still selling them, you might wanna wait until she puts them back on sale like as a bundle deal. But yeah, they're really pretty. That's what I did. This one is called Friends. Ah, look at that. If you love green, that's pretty. This one here is pretty. <laughs> and I have two of these. So this one is called Pretty. And I have two of them because she actually sent me one for free in a previous order. So I ended up having two. So I have two pretties. But yeah, those are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you guys, now I know I said I didn't want to edit, but I had to pause for a moment because I had to rotate. Some of the palettes was getting all over the place, so I had to kind of rotate a little bit, so let's continue. Now, I know I stated that I wasn't going to include any palettes that had like 12 shades in them, but my Viseart palettes are so freaking tiny that I'm just going to run through some of those, the ones that are super small, <laughs> okay? So for Viseart, I have this palette. This is the Petite Force Violetta, and some of these I won't be able to pronounce, and I'm not going to take them out of the box because you can see the picture right there. But yeah, some of them I cannot pronounce. <laughs> this one is, is it Paris Etoile? It, it Chow here. This one, oh my gosh, so, so pretty. This one, London Etoile. Etoile, El Tole, <laughs> Etoile. This one, really, really pretty. I love that pop of green. It's upside down. But that one is gorgeous. Neutrals with that pop of green. This one here is the Petite Mattes Editorial Brights. I can say that, honey. <laughs> so that's what that one looks like. This one is the Petite Matte Cool. Gorgeous cool tones. Ooh, so pretty. And this one I will open because I don't have the box for it anymore. 
but she is absolutely gorgeous look at that look at that 12 shades in there and this thing is like seriously smaller than my hand smaller than my hand so you can see how tiny this is <laughs> super duper tiny but it's gorgeous and does this have the name on dark edit so that one is the dark edit love that one this one is super old i got this out of boxy charm i think this is the libertine so this one does have nine shades in it really pretty this one is La, is it la marai etendu palette beautiful neutrals with a pop of purple this one i absolutely love this color story this is the bijouette ah look how pretty that is so so pretty and then lastly i have this beautiful purple one this is violet etendu violet etendu isn't she pretty that is gorgeous okay so moving on we're going to move into some indie palettes this one, these I believe are like Glam Shop, I believe. Are these Glam Shops? Nine palette, pa nine pan palettes. Yeah, Glam Shop. This is the Tropicana. Very, very cute packaging. Look at this Glam Shop. They blow me away with their shimmers, okay? That is what <laughs> they are famous for, in my opinion, is those shimmers. This one is Paprika. <laughs> okay hot and spicy okay very spicy but that's a very pretty color story this one is is it feel child uh-uh <laughs> have me on here sounding illiterate look how pretty though so so pretty gorgeous color story this one is glam w moral I don't know you know they have some interesting names for some of their palettes um but this one oh my goodness just looking at it makes me want to use it again loved it when i used it and now i'm like dang i'm gonna use it again oh it's so pretty this one is the saffron oh this is from suva we done moved on this is a new brand new brand okay this is not glam shop this is from suva beauty saffron got this in a boxy charm so it's a cute little neutral palette with reds, you know, red tones in there. This one is a Clarity Cosmetics, Evil Mermaid. Oh, child, look at this color story. Look at this color story. Don't, don't play with me. Just don't, don't play with me all day, every day, okay? Gorgeous. This one is the Juicy Peach. I had fun using this as well. I don't know if, I don't think they sell this one anymore. I know there's certain palettes that they've discontinued, but really pretty, gorgeous peachy tone look. This one is the Chocolate Seduction. Oh, let me show you that. Chocolate Seduction, it looks like this. Gorgeous. Oh, this is not your basic palette, okay? These shimmers take it to another level. This one here, another Clarity Cosmetics, Blue Royale. <laughs> blue royal really pretty i haven't even used this palette have not used it and i'm surprised because i really really when i bought this was like oh my gosh i can't wait to use it especially this blue here but yeah i haven't used it yet but it's gorgeous this one is from give me glow juicy olive creates one of the most beautiful green eye looks this one and the crop palette from clarity cosmetics uh beautiful beautiful green eye looks best ones i've ever done in my life sticky sweet and sticky from give me glow okay another smaller palette beautiful beautiful color story have not used this yet every time i open it i just stare at this shade right here <laughs> but yeah haven't used it yet okay so let's move into i think these are glam shops as well so let me pull these glam shops right quick and go through some more of these indie brands so yeah, these are Glam Shop also. They just have a little bit different packaging. You know, you see the the shimmery shim there on this white plastic. This is, what palette is this? Z Colorone. 
It says Z color them on there. Gorgeous. This one is called, is it Siepla? Siepla? I'm not sure, honey, but the color story is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, so I have one Ace Butte in here. I have a lot of Ace Butte palettes, but you know, they're larger. So this, I believe, is the smallest one I have, and this one is the Grandiose. And this one might be one that I had the longest because I know I got this in a boxy charm. <laughs> this grandiose palette. Nothing grandiose about it, quite honestly, though. So I have some of these palettes from 5050 Makeup. I don't even believe that they're in business anymore. But, honey, these palettes have some really nice color stories. Um, unfortunately, I don't know the names of them because they're not listed on the actual palette. They all just say 50-50 do good, feel good. So I don't know if I'm missing it somewhere, but I don't see the name anywhere else. But yeah, this is from 50-50 Makeup. And this is one of their color stories that I bought. Really, really pretty for fall and winter. This one here is another one. Has some colorful shades in there. Really, really pretty. This one here super colorful this one is absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh those pops are just super bright and then lastly i have this one which is very deep fall winter beautiful beautiful color story oh that's gorgeous i'm looking at that like oh i love that okay so these two palettes are from ruby may very cute palettes they came out with around the holiday season, I think a few years back. This one is the Spiced Latte, so that's what that looks like. And look at those colors. So, so pretty. This one here is the Peppermint Mocha. Love that name. I wish it smelled like peppermint. <laughs> but this one is actually my favorite. These colors are so, so pretty. So fun to play with gorgeous color story so yeah that's the peppermint mocha next let's go ahead and move into these which is a few more um indie brands that i just keep in these little clear drawers and that's probably why i really don't think to reach for them is because i have these drawers like on the bottom shelf and i don't think to reach for them these i did go ahead and play with at one while they're so so pretty um, these are from E Unique Beauty, a UK based brand, I believe. And it's really, well, it used to be really difficult with the shipping because my palettes would come broken, like the shimmers were so delicate that they would break. So I haven't ordered from them like any other palettes after these because I didn't want to deal with that. So this one, volume two, I always, um, mess up the names of these palettes so i'm just going to show them okay so this one is very very pretty oh my gosh and then look at this look at these colors gorgeous very very pretty put these over here this one here pamper me <laughs> look how cute this one i really really like as well look at those shimmers so pretty very cute little palettes. They're super duper tiny if you can't tell. You know, they're really, really small. This one, volume one. I always forget the names on these palettes. But this is what this one looks like. And their shimmers are just whew, out of this world. This one was one of my favorites, Bubble Time. Packaging is super cute. And look at this color story. Gorgeous. Look at those shimmers. Oh, so freaking pretty. And this one, Tokyo Volume 3. Very pretty. Haven't even used this one, but it's gorgeous. 
So that's those. And then a few other that I have. These are from Copacetic Cosmetics. These might get decluttered, honestly, pretty soon because I've had these for so long. I'll have to kind of swatch and play around with the shimmers and see if they're even, you know, any good anymore. So, yeah, I have those two that for now I'm going to keep. But if they don't perform very well, I will definitely be getting rid of those. Okay, so next in here, I do have some more. These are what I would consider more affordable, you know, eyeshadow palettes, drugstore palettes, things like that. These are from Nika K. These are the Lucky Charms. And I've had these for quite a while, have not used them because they're not in front of me. They're not in my face. So I might kind of rearrange my beauty room just to kind of put some of my smaller palettes in my face so I can remember to use them. This one is Mocha Mix. So it's really pretty. It has like earthy tones, but it has like a hint of burgundy, burgundy in here as well. So I'll open it up so you can see that. Really pretty. This one is Ocean Eyes. Of course you can see pretty, pretty blue shades. This one is Sugar Plum, beautiful purpley shades. And this one is Poison Apple. So it has the pinky red tones in there. Let's see what else do I have in here. Oh, these are, well, this one is NYX. And these three are Revlon, okay? And I've had these forever and never even used them. This one, I used to have um, a few of these NYX Edit palettes because they are really, really pretty. They're like smaller edits of their larger palettes. So this one is the Ultimate Edit. <laughs> really pretty. This one from Revlon. Does this have... They all say so fierce, but I know that's not the name. This one is Clapback. Clapback. So they're all shimmers. But I've never used them, so I couldn't say anything about the quality, honey. This one is the Big Bang. So this one's really pretty as well. I've had these for quite a while, so I don't know um, how the quality is. And this one is Slight Flex. That one is really pretty. I like that green in there, of course. Um, I also have my little bite-sized e.l.f. palettes. I'm not going to open all these because, child, some of these are probably going to get decluttered. <laughs> this one, what is this? Cream and sugar. Cream and sugar. This one is um, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. And these two green ones. I probably can't read these because, child, meant to be. Meant to be. Oh, my gosh. I did such a pretty minty green eye look with these. This one and this one, I believe it was, on Instagram. This one is chocolate mint so it's like the mint but it has the browns in there this one is hot hot jalapeno this one does a gorgeous eye look as well this one is i saw you <laughs> i see you i saw you i saw you this one is carnival candy so neutrals would pop a blue this one is very bad, very bad. And then lastly, I have uh, truffle. This one, I actually did a video when I uh, got these palettes initially. This is the one that I used, truffle, in my video. I have a lot of YouTube videos. If you happen to be new to my channel and you're not really familiar with me or my content, I have like over 500 videos, beauty videos on my channel. <laughs> so if you really like it here and you want to subscribe and you want to join the KK Squad, you have lots of content to watch, okay? <laughs> when I say lots, I mean lots of content to watch to get caught up. So please feel free, be my guest and just peruse through my whole catalog because honey 
me doing this for going on six years now and I was like really hot and heavy in it for a while there's a lot of content on my channel for you to watch <laughs> a lot um so let's just continue these are revolution makeup revolution palettes um I think this one is as well this is from uh xx revolution this is called X extortion <laughs> extortion I don't even remember what this looks like okay oh that's pretty <laughs> so that's what she looks like really pretty uh, this one is wild onyx you can see from the packaging it kind of goes along with the theme that's inside the palette so this one is wild onyx very pretty I have um, some looks on my Instagram using some of these this one is Ocean Treasure, so it has kind of like that rock candy look to it, and it has the pretty blues in there, Ocean Treasure, and I've had these for a while, so I don't know if they still sell them. This one is Hidden Jewels. Look how pretty that is. Ah! Some of these I just won't get rid of because the packaging is so gorgeous. Gorgeous, pretty purple shades. This one is... Pink Topaz. I don't think I've used this one. Yeah, no. Oh, look how pretty. Gorgeous. And then this one is So Jaded. So, so pretty. I think I've used this one. Yeah. Did a look with this one too. Absolutely gorgeous. These are actually really nice quality shades. Shadows, shimmers. Really pretty. So here I have some other indie brand palettes these are from e unique beauty as well these are some of their status quo palettes these are like super duper old but it's like i don't want to get rid of them because they're so pretty oh my gosh this one is like my absolute favorite this one is called dark souls and they came like really banged up when i received them i had to like repress a lot of them and just kind of clean them up so if they look kind of crazy, that's probably why. This one is Night Out. And I think when I did my video talking about these palettes, I used this one. Super, super pretty. Really pretty. I have this pinky tone one, which is called Pop. See? Look at that. This whole shadow is supposed to be over here. Oh, Lord Jesus. Hold on. Hold, please. Okay, so I will have to repress that. That's glitter, so I might just take it out and toss it. But anyways, that's that one. And then this last one is Drama Queen, okay? Look how pretty. That is so, so pretty. So that one's called Drama Queen. Okay, and then lastly out of this bin is this Rainbow Cloud. This is from Ammo Cosmetics. A brand that I found on Instagram a long time ago. Don't even know if they're still in business. But, you know, it was an indie brand that I wanted to try out. I had a couple of other palettes from them that I didn't really care for the color story. And the quality I don't think was really the best. So, not sure. But I feel like if I am going to declutter any palettes, I would probably start in this bin with the e Unique Beauty palettes just because they're really messy and crumbly and this Ammo Cosmetics palette. These Revolution palettes I'm not ready to get rid of yet because the packaging is so pretty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so moving along, I do have some more um, Huda Beauty, you know, of course, small Huda Beauty palettes. Um, they're all the ones that we are familiar with, know, and love. So let me go ahead and shadow all over the place. Hold on, you guys. Let me clean up just a little bit so it's not looking too crazy over here. But, yeah. First, I want to show you guys this Aaliyah and Mac palette that my sister-in-law got me a long time ago when this collection was out. And I still have it, of course. It was a gift. And it's funny, these are like the smallest shadows I've ever seen. 
<laughs> my life it's so small I did do a look with this palette I mean it it's okay you know it doesn't do anything astronomical but this is a really nice palette to have in my collection I like having it so I have that and then let me run through these Huda Beauty palettes this one is the Emerald Obsessions that's what she looks like this one here is the Ruby Obsessions and that's what she looks like this one is the Amethyst Obsessions. Oh, so, so pretty. This one is the Mauve Obsessions, which really looks more burgundy to me, but it's funny when you put it on the eyes, it actually does look mauve. <laughs> this one is the Topaz Obsessions. Never used it. Nice, beautiful, warm, earthy tones. And this one is the Gemstone Obsessions, okay? really really pretty shimmer shades that you can add to any look so that is those very very cute these are from revolution and then these two are from huda beauty so these two i don't know i keep them i got them i think from boxy charm um or in the boxy pop-up something like that but this is the pastels mint and the pastels lilac and I think there was one more that I just could not keep in my collection. It was just so bad. <laughs> but these are all pretty bad, quite honestly. It seems like I heard somebody say she recalled these. But I don't know. I didn't hear about it. But anyways, I like the way they look. They're really pretty and cute. That's why I haven't gotten rid of them yet. And this one is the lilac. So that's what that looks like. Super duper pretty just cute that's the only reason why they're still in my collection is because they're actually really cute and i have these other two palettes from revolution pro i grabbed these um when they came out i saw them i thought they would be perfect for like little travel palettes you know nice little travel companion this one is glam mood night out and so this is what this one looks like so really pretty basic shade. You can create a nice smoky look, everyday look, neutral look, purple look. So I think this is really good for travel. And then I got this one, which is the golden hour. I don't know if you can see that, but it says golden hour. And this is what this one looks like. Beautiful warm tones in here. So I feel like these two palettes together, if you just throw them in your travel bag, if you know you're going to want to do basic looks, maybe you might want to add a pop of color, you know, to go out for dinner or something. These are perfect for that. And the quality is actually quite nice. So that's why I got those. Okay, you guys, we're on the home stretch. As you can see, I'm clearing out a lot of palettes. <laughs> okay, so let's just move on here. I have a Sigma palette. This is the Ivy palette. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting this palette for so long. I got it not too long ago, added it to my collection, and so happy I did because it is so pretty to me. Oh, it's pretty. Next, I have here this small palette from Minted. Is this, yeah, this is their Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. <laughs> and I know they've been selling this forever. I think they might have actually changed the style up a bit by now, but it's basically like the same tones, I believe. But really, really pretty. It's definitely just an Everyday Palette from Minted. This one here is from Lime Crime, and I've gone back and forth about decluttering this so many times. This is the Prelude Chroma, Prelude Chroma palette, Ugh. and these shades, some of them are just so hard to work with, but it's like these shimmer shadows, man, when I swatch them, it just really prevents me from decluttering this, but... It might be time for me to get rid of it because it's not the easiest palette to use. It's really not. I've learned that I don't really like Lime Crime shadows, at least not the smaller palettes. No, not too much. So these are Nabla palettes. These are Cutie palettes. This one is the Platinum Cutie. And look at this, you guys. Look how cute. And look at those shimmers. So, so pretty. I think I got this last year from Morphe, if I'm not mistaken. This one, I'm pretty sure I ordered it from Ulta. This is the Wild Berry Cutie Palette from Nabla. Really pretty. Nothing right home about, but it is a cute color story. I never really pushed to use my Nabla palettes. This one is Midnight. 
because I used um, one of their slightly larger palettes once and I wasn't really impressed. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but this one is absolutely gorgeous. I, you know what, I need to use this. This one I need to use because you guys know I love blue and I really want to try out their formula again. So I'm going to put this to the side because I need to use this. This one is the Nabla Analog Analog Cutie Palette. And this one is really pretty as well. I had this in my everyday drawer. I never reached for it. Cause I was using you know other palettes just for basic looks but I really wanted to try this one out too so I'm probably gonna have to throw this back in my everyday drawer because it is just a really basic everyday color story okay so now I have my small Natasha Denona palettes <laughs> these I really don't reach for and they're so cute I, I actually really love the idea and concept and style and shape of these little palettes but i just never reach for them so this one here is the mini xenon palette super cute smoky color stories you can see with the black gray and silver um, my girl lily gave that to me this one is the jubilee and i'm pretty sure i got all of these in my boxy charms because at one while they were just giving these away this one is the cranberry very very pretty color story as well this one i really like is the peak this one oh this color story just gets me it's so pretty to me it is just absolutely gorgeous and then lastly i have this one which is the ayana and that's what that looks like really pretty cool tone shades in here absolutely gorgeous so I have those, of course, I'm not getting rid of, rid of any of those. Okay, so these are just a few more miscellaneous small palettes. This one is from Sigma. This is the Magnifique. My girl Lily gave me this as well last year around my birthday. Look how pretty. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh, why haven't I used this? Oh, that's pretty. Okay, and then I have these three from Dose of Colors, which I like these color stories. I don't know. It's just something about them. These might actually get decluttered. This is the Smoky Soiree. And so that's what that one looks like. And I, you know, enjoyed using this a few times, creating nice smoky looks with it. This one is called uh, Cutting Edge. Yeah. And I believe, was this one... Yeah, no, this one, I had one that came damaged. I think I might have given it away. But this one, really pretty, the replacement one. And uh, as you can see, I haven't used it yet. I think it would be nice if it went a little bit deeper. If it just had like one deeper shade, like, you know, deeper than this. So replace this with something a little bit deeper, then I would be more inclined to use it. But it is a really pretty color story. And then this one is the Blushing Berries. I think I might have got this in a boxy charm or something. But really pretty Blushing Berries berry color story. Okay, you guys, we are finally at the end. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but as you can see, I do have a lot of small palettes. So, But I'm really glad that I went through them because... Now I'm more familiar with what I have, what I need to use, what I need to grab, so I can kind of rearrange my room to make me use them more. So this is, these are all P. Louise, and this one is the Going Solo, um, part of the Love Tapes collection. So this one is called Going Solo. Really pretty, gray toned, silver toned palette. Cute packaging, you guys know um p louise they go overboard with their packaging I, it's crazy <laughs> this one is called under the mistletoe and i think my girl lily gave me this one too as well because i remember when i looked at this color story i was like oh my gosh that is so pretty even though it says christmas child it is just i would love to play with these reds and greens together so pretty this next one here is called date night 
And so that's what that one looks like. Really pretty user-friendly colors in there. Yeah, kind of mossy browns and beautiful uh, bricky burgundy red shades. That's actually really pretty. And this one here is called Vacation. <laughs> Vacation. Oh, that's pretty. Yep, that's pretty. Gorgeous. Orangey, peachy, rosy tones. Oh, that's pretty. I'm just sitting here looking at this like... <sighs> ah! <laughs> this one is Wedding Wish. So, very basic, you know, bridal makeup <laughs> type, you know, shades for sure. But still very, very pretty. Now, let's go ahead and look at these super bold, colorful palettes that I've shown recently in other videos. Part of the stack them up. This one is called What's Your Favorite Position? I actually pulled this palette, you know, showing as part of my spring color stories that I love. So yeah, it's gorgeous, gorgeous purple. Oh, so pretty. This one is called Babe. It's all about those, what does it say? Smoky, smoky tones. Is that what it says? It's all about those smoky chow. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty pinky tone palette, rosy tones, pink shades, gorgeous. This one is called Say Less and Do More. Talk is cheap. So this one is the beautiful blues and periwinkles and sea foam shades. This one is called Take the Risk or Lose the Chance. So you have your gorgeous like sunset orangey golden tones this one is really really pretty i guess i'm feeling that vibe right now because when i look at these orangey tone palettes it's making me feel some type of way so i feel an orange eye look coming on real soon <laughs> and then this last one is called invest in yourself babe so beautiful money green money money talks okay so yeah that is it last palette you guys so those are all of the palettes my small palettes like i said except for color pop i did not show juvia's place i did not show and i have a few small palettes from like um pat mcgrath and stuff that i did not show so other than that that was all my small palettes I really need to count my palettes because I am really curious as far as how many small palettes I have. So anyways, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I love you so, so much. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what small palettes are your favorites. Hit that like button if you had a good time and enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, girl, because I'll be back with more videos to come. So anyways, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!